To understand what is 422 in video recording through your cameras, you need to know what is chroma subsampling. So let's divide it into two halves chroma and subsampling. What is chroma? Chroma generally refers to colors or intensity of colors. So chroma is basically colors. Subsampling. What is subsampling? So just take this example. You have some disease and you go to the doctor and he says to just go for a blood test. So do they take the entire blood from your body? No, right? Just a small ml of the blood from your body is being tested. So that's the sample of the entire blood in your body, right? Similar way, subsample is a sample of color information available in a frame of a video. So if you consider this uh, entire frame, there are a lot of pixels, but we are going to take a sample. So chroma subsampling will help you to just compress the video. So let's see how this chroma subsampling works. So here let's take this frame. This frame is made up of lot of pixels. If you just zoom in, you can see the video as pixel by pixel, right? So if you see here, a, a light amount of red light is coming from here till here, right? Till my body. So if you see, it's very dark at the point where it is originating and it's its shade is slowly reducing and here you have a mild red on my face right mild red so the pixels are not same here its intensity is not same you have different shades of red here but not all the color information of this red color is recorded by this camera our camera has the ability to cheat or fake our eyes so this red has different shades of red from here to here but it's not recording all that shades it's recording only few shades of that red and we are okay with it because our eye is simply faked here so that's what our cameras does by chroma subsampling method so you got it right now let's move more technical but before that if you had come to this video from a previous video where i discussed about bits 8 bit or 10 bit or 12 bit then fine continue watching if not do check the video i will give an i button right here yeah here do check the video and come back continue watching this video so now let's move to the technical part just consider we have eight pixels from this entire frame so here is that eight pixel we are going to do chroma subsampling so one two three four at the top one two three four at the bottom it's four pixels of two rows now let's understand what are these values of the chroma subsampling. So the first four refers to the brightness values of all the four pixels in both rows. So here it's four which means the brightness values of all the four pixels in both the rows are recorded. So no issue with brightness. So the second value is the chroma subsampling of all the four pixels on the first row. Similar way the third value is the chroma subsampling of all the four pixels in the second row got it right so brightness remains the same which is four for all these three four is to four is to four or four is to two is to two or four is to two is to zero so the second value four represents the chroma subsampling of the first row which means like all the true colors of this four pixels from the first row is recorded no issues all the true colors are recorded so second value is also four Similar way, third value is also 4. Then all the true colors of the second row is also recorded successfully. There is no compression. You have the entire color information in a 4 is to 4 is to 4 video. Now let's move to the 4 is to 2 is to 2 video. So first value is 4. So as I said earlier, all the 4 brightness values of all the pixels of both the rows are recorded. Good. Moving on to the second one. It's 2. Here on the first row, though we had four colors or four shades of colors, it's not actually four colors. Here chroma subsampling is done. So the value is two. So you'll have only two colors while the other two colors are matched. So the first two are matched together. The second two are matched together. So the first row has two colors. So this is chroma subsampling process where one color is matched with the other and you have two true colors on the first row of the pixels similarly the third value is also two which means like even on the third row we had four colors but through subsampling we have matched two colors and now we also have 
two true colors at the bottom line of the pixel. So this is how chroma subsampling happens for 4 is to 2 is to 2. So this chroma subsampling of 4 is to 2 is to 2 is going to help us to have a better storage like the file size will be lesser when compared to 4 is to 4 is to 4. Similarly, let's see the third type which is 4 is to 2 is to 0. So this kind of a recording is used in most of uh, consumer cameras like the one which is recording here, right? So 4 is to 2 is to 0 as I said earlier, 4 is like entire brightness levels is recorded, 4 is fine. Second value is 2 which means the first row has only two true colors. So out of the four pixels, two were matched together and two were matched together. So here you have only two true colors on the first row. And the third value is zero, which means there is no true color on the second row of the pixels, which means the first row is copied to the second row, which is matched with the second row, which means you have only two true colors on the entire eight megapixel chroma subsampling. So this difference is not much noticeable to the human eye but when you are going to do more color grading to your videos or when you're going to record a video in green screen that is where this 4.2.2 or 4.4.4 gonna matter. With this camera if I record a green screen video a small green border would be noticeable in the video. So that is because of the compression that happens in this uh, video which is 420. Only two colors are true, others are matched which results in such bad uh, looking footage. So you know 444 chroma subsampling. So actually 444 means there is no subsampling. It's actually taking all the pixels and the file size is going to be huge and huge. This is used for films like films like Avatar and things where you have more of blue screen or green screen in those cases only cinema cameras which have the ability to shoot 444 raw video will be much helpful to achieve that perfect uh, green screen footage so that you can remove the screen and just replace it it won't look awkward he lost it so it won't look long. It won't look awkward. So 4 is to 4 is to 4 is used for most of the films. And earlier it was able to record 4 is to 2 is to 2 videos from any camera through external device. But now most of the cameras like the A7S3 or A7 IV or even Canon R5, R6 and uh, even the, all the Nikon latest ones are able to record 4 to 2. And that's why these guys get excited when they see 4 is to 2 is to 2 recording. So you got what is the difference, right? The bit value and this chroma subsampling value. 10 bit 4 to 2. Discussed. Do let me know in comments if you have any questions from this video or the previous video. And yeah, if you're new here, I'm Cario from India. We talk photography, filmmaking, editing and many other social media stuff that help creators like us. So yeah, if you're new, do hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get regularly notified whenever I make a video. And I hope this video was really helpful. If yes, do hit that like button. <laughs> yeah, that will be really appreciated. Do that. And yes, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, how's my new studio setup? This light went off. Charged gone. Oh, Aperture also lost its charge. Both were running for more than one hour. So yes guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you for staying till now. We'll meet in another video. Until then, it's your Cario signing off.